guys, it's Bailey Rose, and today I'm going to be carving a pumpkin. So I have my pumpkin here. I'll turn it the right way. So the things that you'll need for this is, of course, a pumpkin. And I already cut the top, so there wouldn't be injuries. And I've laid down paper towels, and I have a roll right here. I have my template, which I just printed online. I have a marker. I have some carving tools, a big knife, and a little knife. And also, I have a bucket for the seeds and things. So the first step is to take the big knife and push it in and slant it and cut into your pumpkin. Go all the way around and pull out your top. And then you could either use this scoopy thing, which I like to get the edges with, and you just get out all of this, the guts, because I like to carve them. And a lot of people like to make bake the seeds. Sorry if you hear some scratching in the background. My turtle is decided. So then you just like pull all of the guts out. So now I have all of the guts out of my pumpkin, and I have all of my things ready for my next step, which was I actually gutted my pumpkin completely, and then I rinse it out with water and then get all the little bits out, but if you want to do that, you can, and then you won't have to. There was just some stuff on here. Um, so now we're going to, in my case, I'm going to trim this and put it on my pumpkin and I'll tape it on. And then I'm going to use this knife and I'm going to poke the little holes. So I will be right back once I have taped and put all of my holes. Okay. I'm now back and done. So I'm just going to peel this off. I know you guys can't see, but it's here. Um. There are small indentions on my pumpkin. See, like there's one here, 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 and just little tick marks all the way around the outline of my thing. So now I'm going to take my knife, either I'm going to use this one or this one. I prefer to use this one because it's a little easier, and I'm going to start. Let's start with you guys here. And you just turn it this way so you guys can see. And I'm going to use a saw. So I think it'll be easy. So you just stick it in. Yeah. Saw away. 
make sure to follow your lines. So now I'm just going to go all the way around the outline. See that little bit of pumpkin? That's where I cut already. And that's the back of the horse and the tail. So I'm just going to finish my whole little horse. And don't be afraid to take your knife out and turn it. I'm back and it is fully carved out so now you're just gonna take a paper towel or a rag and wipe it off I know I pulled out a little piece of it so now I am going to clean up a little bit move some stuff and I'm just gonna stick my hand inside of the pumpkin and Push out my piece. And you want to be really careful, depending on how intricate your design is. Mine has some little pieces. So. There we go. And I have my three-legged horse because <laughs> the other, other leg is over there. So now I'm just going to turn around and it's got some like things. You're just going to take the tool that you cut it out with and fix up your lines and you carved yourself a pumpkin. You can literally take your fingers, move some stuff. Oh, I broke a piece. Did I break? Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Okay, so there you go. Now that you've carved yourself a pumpkin, you can put the lid back on, put it on your porch, put a candle in it, put it on your porch, and light it. You have a little jack o' lantern, a little lit pumpkin out on your doorstep. So, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please like comment and subscribe and tell me what you're going to be for halloween in the comment box down below so thanks for watching bye